In this presentation, I'd like to offer you 12 questions to prompt reflection on the concept sustainability. So here we're considering the concept sustainability. What do we mean by that concept? When we discuss the concept sustainability, there are both risks and opportunities. One risk is that people might talk past each other because they have a different con concept of sustainability in mind. Opportunities include the fact that new ways of engaging with the theme of sustainability can emerge when sustainability is understood in new and different ways. So one way to address both the risks and opportunities is to reflect upon a set of open questions. And importantly, this reflection can be done at any scale and on any topic. Thus, I offer you the following set of open questions. So let's look at this table for a moment to sort of understand how it works. Across the top, we have is, is not, ought, ought not. And down the rows, we have what, how, and why. This is a powerful set of conceptualizations because we can explore the concept of sustainability using this matrix. So let's look at these questions. What is being sustained? What is not being sustained? What ought to be sustained? And what ought not be sustained? So that starts with the what set of questions. But now we can move on to the how questions. How is it being sustained? How is it not being sustained? How ought it be sustained? And how ought it not be sustained? Now there's some ambiguity in that last question. So we can understand that last question as how should it be ensured that this is not sustained? So notice that we have the opportunity to think about what and how. And this gives us the opportunity to unpack a number of examples, real world cases, in which the concept of sustainability is being employed. And finally, there is the why set of questions. Why is it being sustained? Why is it not being sustained? Why ought it be sustained? And why ought it not be sustained. Now the idea of this matrix of questions is to let you explore any number of real world cases. In some real world case, something may be being sustained. Some other thing may not be being sustained. And importantly, the thing being sustained may not be something you want sustained. It might be something that you don't want sustained. So notice that this use of the word sustained allows you to explore any number of cases to explore what is the case, what is not the case, what is what, what ought be the case and what ought not be the case. So some things in life persist and you may not want them to persist. Other things are not persisting, but you do want them to persist. So notice that this matrix gives you an opportunity to explore how sustainability as a concept can be applied in any number of cases. So rather than assume what sustainability means for any person, the thought here is to invite reflection on these 12 questions. Furthermore, the thought is to undertake this process without any expectation of what specific answers will emerge. The idea being that what sustainability means will emerge out of critical reflection on context, assumptions, perspectives, experiences and values. 
Now, importantly, sometimes discussion about sustainability is undertaken whereby the the participants in any discussion might have a set idea of what sustainability means, but someone else might have a different understanding. So by exploring this set of questions, you can do it by yourself or you can do it in a group. The idea is for us to start to unpack all the different ways that the concept sustainability might be being used. We might discover that we're talking past each other when we use the concept sustainability and that's good to know because then we can refine the way we use it such that we can talk to each other meaningfully. Alternatively, it might be that new ways of understanding sustainability emerge as a result of reflection on these questions or discussion among people. So notice there are both risks and opportunities when we talk about sustainability and these, five, so these 12 questions give us an opportunity to unpack how sustainability is being used. So here's some examples that you might like to use and then use these 12 questions to explore these examples. For example, consideration of the healthcare system would involve reflection on the sustainability or unsustainability of that system or some part of it. So notice, if you're talking about the healthcare system, you could ask, what is being sustained in the healthcare system? These might be things that ought be sustained, or they might be things that ought not be sustained. Challenges, obstacles, problems, barriers in the healthcare system might be being sustained, but the purpose of these 12 questions is then to identify and understand why they're being sustained and why perhaps not other more valuable outcomes are being sustained. Or alternatively, consider the transport system. A consideration of the transport system would involve reflection on the sustainability, unsustainability of that system or some part of it. So notice we can look at features of the transport system, maybe the use of single passenger vehicles and say, is that something that is being sustained? Is it something that ought to be sustained? Or should we move perhaps to a transport system where single occupancy vehicles are being reduced over time, say to reduce total energy use? So I'm not presuming that sustainability has some fixed meaning. I'm inviting you to think about the concept sustainability in its broadest sense. In a way, it's just things that persist. So. Do we want certain things to persist? Do we want other things not to persist? And how might we understand the system such that we can move toward that which ought to be sustained as opposed to that which ought not be sustained? I hope other examples at all scales and across all topics are possible. And finally, I hope considering these 12 questions leads you to some valuable insights and hopefully productive conversations with others. Thank you.